Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 A Story Well. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, uh, and I'm glad you guys are with us today. Uh, today we are going to go and look for Jake. Now Jake, uh, he left us, and I didn't realize this in the last episode, I kind of was doing a little thing, a couple things uh, around Red Rocket here, um, just kind of helping out the settlement. Not too much, um, just to kind of get things going, and so they're not really degrading and you know, happiness. Um, but he's looking for some help and he gave us a radio frequency. And if we go in here to our radio, uh, there's a Jake's private frequency. So let's go ahead and listen to this and see what he has for us and uh, where we can find him. Hey there, darling. How you doing? Don't bother answering that. I can't hear you through your fifth boy. Also, this is pre recorded. I got some news on the comm hub. After a little tinkering, a few replaced parts, and a whole lot of cursing, I've still not been able to turn it on. <laughs> really? Not exactly the best news, <laughs> I know. But Definitely as it turns not. Out, too many of its parts are degraded beyond use. However, here's some good news. An acquaintance of mine did some information digging. We made a little discovery. Turns out, there's a building in downtown Boston where we may find a second comm hub in better condition. This message should trigger a marker up there in your pit boy's map. I'll be waiting right. there by the time you hear this. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. All right, cool. So we can go ahead and turn that off. Uh, we do have a map update. Let's see here. Uh, it's right down here, uh, kind of towards Diamond, uh, Diamond City, where we do want to go there at some point in time. Uh, so maybe we'll try to venture in towards Jake here. I don't know if we're going to get to him today, uh, but we, at least we can try making our way down that direction. Uh, we do have a couple things here uh, that we finished off last episode that we want to go check out or complete. Uh, one would be uh, to drop in at Fallon's uh, administrative building or offices. Uh, we did get this, the, the stashes uh, last episode and we didn't get them turned in. So I want to go do that first before we head off. Uh, but yeah, I've been working on kind of cleaning up Red Rocket here, uh, gas station and kind of getting things going. I forgot that I did not have any water, <laughs> so uh, nothing was going here at all. So um, they're working on building houses now that they got, finally got food. Uh, the, the happiness was going down, so I'm trying to uh, repair that. I do have two houses here as well as I do have placed some... Um, some of these defense locations. So they'll build those out as soon as they can. Uh, I think we'll probably take one of these people instead of um, here. Let's let's assign you to guard duty. Uh, let's put you down over in this one here. Now we, we will need more people. Uh, can we assign to guard duty? Yeah, so now you should be guard duty. Um, but I also do want to mention I did install another oh, he's still on food Okay, maybe we'll have to wait until things are going there. Oh Junk wall, uh, don't have enough resources to continue uh, Definitely gonna need to get resources going before we can go um, You can see the weather really sucks uh, Unfortunately, but that's what it, uh, I was saying a mod I have a mod now that allows us to kind of pick up these brambles and recycle them or just get get rid of them as well as uh, some of these leaf scraps. So it'll turn them into fertilizer, which is kind of nice uh, just to kind of clean up the settlements a little bit. I don't know the mods name. I can post it if you guys are interested what it is, uh, but it does kind of clean up debris that's that we have laying around inside of the settlements to kind of make it a little bit cleaner. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, last episode, we got uh, we did pretty good. Um, we we have uh, quite a bit of ammo now for our weapons, uh, which is which is good. Uh, we'll have to come back to this red rocket at some point in time and get that one rolling. Uh, we also need to get a couple more people there, so maybe we'll send some people from sanctuary, or maybe not. Maybe we'll do something else as well. Maybe we can find some more people. Or we just build a uh, a beacon. That'd be another option as well. I'm not really liking this haze. Not one bit. But I'm definitely feeling a lot more confident in terms of 
um, not dying as quickly now. <laughs> so, which is which is excellent. So, hopefully, uh, again, guys, don't don't forget every episode. You want to try to guess the number of deaths. Uh, go ahead and put that down in the comment section below and see. Uh, you know what? What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start announcing um, just one person that gets it right out of the group. So um, <clears throat> I'll kind of I'll do those randomly. So make sure you guys get those in there. Oh, he's right down here. That's good. I'm gonna run all the way upstairs. Hey, buddy. Hi. Wasn't sure you were gonna make it back in one piece. Any trouble out there? Well, Eden, she saved my butt more than I can say. Um, yeah, I was walking apart. Not really. Well, I mean, honestly, the what we did was actually pretty easy. I think I died once because I fell off a bridge. <laughs> so other than that, I'd say uh, I. Uh, not sure I'd call it smooth, but I took care of it. Yeah, that's more like it. Not sure I'd call it smooth, but it's taken care of. Hey, anyone you can walk away from. Here, got you a little something for the trouble. Let me know when you're ready for the next job. Any news on your side? Just been cleaning things up here from the raid. Speaking of which, if you want to lend a hand, feel free to use the workshops around here. There's one on the first floor and also a second one in the bunker. Have a look around and make yourself comfortable. Wait, what? No way. So we can, this is a settlement. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm not gonna modify any of this, but we can add to it if we wanted to. I like it a lot. Um, all right, so we did get a quest. Like a good neighbor. Day farm is there? <laughs> is that? <laughs> That's where we for work. Okay, we've got tons of work. I thought he ran down here. Murphy, where'd you go, bud? He just walked in here. <clears throat> if you're ready to get started on the next phase, let me explain. Let's do it. Yeah, sure. Why not? I got a pal and good neighbor. Goes by the name Hancock. After what happened at University Point in Quincy, he's got some concerns about the next shoe to drop in downtown Boston. What do you mean? Every urban area has pressure points. Centers of gravity that hold a region's economy together. Take out the pressure points, and it inflicts a disproportionate amount of economic pain. Trade suffers, supply chains stop moving, and eventually people start going hungry. The fabric of society starts to crumble. The Institute knows this. So do the Gunners. It's not hard to guess what their next targets might be. Is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Maybe not raiders, but they got super mutant hordes right around the corner. And since have infiltrated their local government. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Diamond City isn't the settlement most in danger of fallen good neighbor is why do you say that you mean besides the elevated sniper perches surrounding the town and the relative ease of blockading the entrance so no food or supplies can get in or out uh yeah obviously it's like this if your settlement is poor you can't afford adequate security if your security stinks your enemies eventually take notice and sooner or later they'll either demand tribute or conquer you. So, if you want your city not to get pillaged, you need a functional economy. It's hard to pull off when your clientele is primarily low-end chem addicts and drifters. There's no real money in catering to riffraff like that. For good neighbor to survive, it needs to attract a higher class of clientele. Okay. I guess, yeah, let's ask about a solution then. So what's the solution? Bottom line, Hancock wants to clean up Good Neighbor. 
starting with the chem dealers selling drugs to kids, the thugs harassing visitors for protection money, the back alley murders, the gang activity, and the never-ending stream of aspiring scam artists. He wants all of them gone. Not detained, not bargained with, just gone. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. What's the catch? As mayor, he can't be officially connected to ordering hits on his constituency. So, he's contracted out certain jobs on the down low to a few people he trusts. That's where you come in. No. I need some details here. I have no idea what I'm getting into. There's three jobs I want you to start with. First job is to entrap an old ghoul who's been trying to rip off Hancock. Second one is to eliminate a trigger man gang infesting the town's warehouses. And a third task is to take out a few miscreants plaguing the local economy. You can do the jobs in any order you want. I've written down all the details on this holotape, including the local contacts to get started. Once the jobs are complete, cross them off your list and we'll move on to the next phase. And one more thing. You did us a solid with that gunner job. Anything we can help you with in return? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Man, sorry to hear that. Can you describe how he got kidnapped? We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. My husband was murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean and they, they just, they just. Take your time. We're listening, of course, but details would be helpful. There was a man and a woman. Um, they didn't say much, but, but I remember they, they called me the backup. The woman was dressed in, uh, I think it was kind of a, a hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough, like, like sandpaper. Cross your face. You didn't happen to get a name, did you? No. They never said their names. Yeah, I kinda figured. So Vault 111 was a cryo facility? That's crazy. I headed up there once, but it was sealed shut. They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods. But something malfunctioned. The man who killed my husband, he had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound. Rather traumatic, I suppose. So, no name, but the killer had a bald head, scar, gravelly voice, and likely a rep for doing shady jobs. Sounds a bit like a local merc named Kellogg. Somewhat mm. nasty character. Rumor is he had a place in Diamond City, but there's something else. Please, tell me what you know. Fuck, this is a tough one. I shouldn't be sharing this, but it's your kid we're talking about. Look, check the desk in my room. There's a holotape in there. Might have some answers you're looking for. A holotape? What's on it? Tough to explain. You need to see it for yourself. But the gist is, back in Quincy, when Stella's mom was bleeding out in my arms, the last thing she told me was to pull a holotape out of a cargo pants pocket. Not the type of thing you expect to hear in someone's dying words. I asked her why, but didn't get an answer. She just whispered to show it to Stella when she was old enough. And just like that, she was gone. It took a while before I could bring myself to read what was on the tape. Part of me wishes I hadn't. I appreciate you telling me all of this. I know it's difficult. Just promise me that whatever happens, you don't mention a word of this to Stella. She doesn't know, and that's the way it's got to stay for now. Okay, that's, um, Andy that. You have my word. And hey, good luck out there. 
Okay, access the uh, the like a good neighbor hollow tape in the inventory and complete the mission on it. Uh, also, he's got a hollow tape. Uh, it started. That's upstairs. I can remember how to, to traverse this place. Here we go. Kellogg's diary. Oh, my name is Conrad Kellogg. Written down, the name looks almost alien. Are those characters jumbled together in that particular order? Uh, order me? I don't understand why jumbled together in that particular order, me. Hmm. Um, Ani, and my mother would, uh, would see. Ani, my mother would squeal when it was time for dinner. Others would mock me because of other than my grandfather, I never encountered another man named Connie. Connie was a girl's name. True. Uh, well, is it really? Is it? Hmm. So Connie is his name. He would go by Conrad. I guess we're going to find out a little bit more about that. Uh, they didn't end up mocking me for long. Youth was cut short by the NCR as received invulnerable, um, invaluable lessons in sharp, um, in shrapnel, shotguns, in shamelessness. I tore at my assignments with insane zeal. Anything to ease the shame of my effing idiot father and endless bragging about raider days. So his dad was a was a raider, of course. Uh, do you know what more pathetic than a raider? An old impotent raider. Absolutely turns my stomach to see this pitiable sight the endless whining through toothless gums, complaining about how things aren't nearly as hell-bent for leathers or as leather as they were in the old days. As if his old days were worth anything at all. What a legend. Dumb violence, greed, and alcoholism. Alcoholism. Reforged and repurposed by the NCR, I discovered my in... in innate ability to survive hell flourish inside regiment structures I could compartmentalize I could keep my thoughts locked away I could keep focused and disciplined these qualities may have been augmented since that uh, sin, uh, since but I was obvious that there was always there the scenery changed San Francisco Sarah Mary Scenes of familiar bliss. Boxes within boxes. Boxes outside of boxes. Always something in another box. Suddenly, I find myself an enforcer for the she. One of the best. Is that like... Something like taken out? Ian? Or is that just an addition? Shion? Shin? Maybe shit. I don't know. One of the best. Yeah, I think it's one of the best. Shy. For the shy. S-H-I. Hmm. Even had most of my hair go with it. Tell you the truth. I'm gonna miss the NCR. But I compartmentalized. I, f I enforced. I served. The Empire. The Emperor. I kept focused and disciplined. So focused that I didn't realize I was about to lose my wife and daughter, but I compartmentalized the Institute would soon find its ideal servant. Hmm. Vault 111, October 11th, 20, uh, 2,227. Still not sure why I did it. Something about that kid hit me like a ton of bricks. I was supposed to kill him and let my assistant extract his DNA. Right there in the vault, in a clean environment, they said. 
come back, drop off the DNA, and have a nice little rest until the next assignment. Instead, it all went balls out. Or, I lost my balls. Or something about balls. F knows what I'm <laughs> even talking about. Still rattled. Still second guessing my second guesses. This is when I'd already been with the Institute for a while. I should probably go back and talk about how that happened first. How I got all the way across this country without being part of the Brotherhood. The deal I made with these people. But I can't get this out of my head. Not right now. I had no problem popping one of my parents. What figure uh, future was out there for them? Their world was effing ash. The other one, I think I just cracked some dumb joke. The only thing running through my head was save this kid. What the hell did this kid do? He wasn't totally effed like the, pa like the parents, a relic of the lost world with no hope. There could be a way out for him, like there was for me. Something about these vaults gets your blood running cold. I've seen some some sick ones for sure. Seeing those frozen clumps of cells, something in me snapped. So I brought Sean back and I gave him to the institute. It was only time I uh, the only time I disobeyed direct orders in this fashion. I was debriefed for days. But I told him the truth. What else was there to say? How could you lie to them? I knew what toys they had. I used them myself when I needed answers. So I told it to them like it was. Finally, it seemed to sink in. It would be okay. It would all be okay. For me, for Sean, for the Institute. Interesting, okay. Yeah, we definitely know that he was there. And now we know kind of he brought him back to kind of save instead of just doing the job. Okay, a cloud the cloud is just a terminal somewhere else. Cybernetics, November 12th, 2278. Received another round of cybernetic implants earlier this week. Have been in uh, excruciating agony since. This is the first time I'm capable of writing. Can't remember what the day the operation was on. Want to say Monday? Having trouble urinating, having trouble digesting, having trouble breathing. The side effects from the drugs they pumped me full of to prevent my body going back into shock or going into shock were seemingly compounding. No way to be comfortable. Always something. Always something. Always for the Institute. A higher purpose, they said. Another calling. A new way of living. A new crock of shit. I start thinking I should res reserve a little part of my brain all for myself, someplace where I can think. I mean, I'm almost a hundred years old. Trouble sleeping, January 16th, 2079. So a year, year or so later. Well, not really, not a year later. It's a few months later. Uh, getting to sleep is con is continuing to be a struggle. The same few scenes keep replaying in my head as my mind races. Nothing seems to do uh, much for it. I end up pacing or making excuses to go out for stupid, dangerous reasons. Something to stop the mind racing. Something to stop those few obsessive thoughts. They tell me it, it's a, f a side effect from the procedure, but I don't know if it's a side effects from what I've been doing. What I've been doing. Can't blame them for ordering me. I followed the orders. I knew that they were half or wrong half the time, but I was comfortable with this setup. Can't make excuses. So I can't sleep with a re as a result. A petty complaint considering the amount of people who aren't alive because of me. Mother showed me the way. And for that, I was grateful. No way that that what we uh, what you make of it Man, machine, man, machine, man, machine, whatever you wanted to call it, the gears turning and the circuits pulsing with life and keeping that life alive year after year. I'm as old as the ghouls and look five times fresher. The Institute offered to grow my hair back, but F it, 
It's all that's left of my character, of me. Except those racing thoughts, of course. There may be a way to deal with those. Getting into that. Um, I'll get into it in another entry. Mm. Judy, July 4th, 2279. feel like some smug raider piece of shit bragging about helping a friend lose his virginity. But somehow, after all these years, out of nowhere, right after the routine job doing another DE-32 mission, I met Judy. Didn't get a last name. Didn't need one. Okay. I called her Jacqueline once by accident. F. At least I didn't call her by my wife's name. I'd have to explain that, that I had a wife and it would have ruined everything. Who the hell wants to F a guy who just spent two hours moaning about his dead wife and fighting back tears while blundering Mary over and over? Hideous. At a certain point, I'd have to explain I swore revenge and actually got it. It's even harder to confirm. Uh, front a man bragging about murdering a bunch of assassins. Surprised everyone still works after all these operations. Surprised I still care. I still cared. But it did. Absolutely ha- hilarious. Really? It was special. One of the one of the only days that have stuck out. It's a living. March 9th, 2282. So a couple years later. Most of them deserve it, of course. I'm not special in that regard. I've been like everyone else out here, killing those in the way of living, staying alive, all the um, all the cliches. But unlike most everyone out here, I'm a precision instrument. I'm their instrument, the best operative they've got decade upon decade of experience all those thoughts connected at the same time in the same second all at once all running together hard to describe what's going on when your thoughts are augmented with electrons i don't have the words to describe it i have the numbers the numbers continue getting higher kills missions sleepless nights year after year after year the only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand i saw a grim cartoon one time when i was out on a run a man is in a pile of garbage utterly dis- um, disabled and filthy cartoon bubble says it's a living it's a living university point october 23rd 2285 a couple more a few more years later not how I wanted to go. Another one of those days I knew I'll assemble and reassemble in my head for years to come. I started pretty normal. It started pretty normal. Crisp fall sunlight with a sharp chill in the air. The assignment wasn't exactly to forge a new path for man and machine working side by side in perfect harmony. No, it was kill everyone and retrieve the tech. Man. Man would take the machines, and it was fine by me. Nothing complicated about it. Satisfying plumbing, pure craftsmanship. Blood spattering against the win- a window, the glass shattering, and embeds itself in some poor idiot's face. Bodies keep going down. Institute rifles melting human skin again and again. Guy screaming... Caston, get down! As his girl was utterly torn apart. The look on his face didn't last long and he rejoined her a few seconds later. Horrible smell of burning flesh filling the nostrils. I knew this guy named Joe who who demanded he be called Nitro in the NCR. Claimed he loved the smell of burning flesh. I didn't buy it. It's completely horrible on all levels. Just something to sound tough, I guess. Nobody ever called him Nitro. Not ever once. NCR. A thousand years ago now. 
What I've been doing since. What compartment am I in now? I think I loathe this place. Hold on. We have... We may have more survivors. Oh. To Stella. Access to Kellogg's apartment in Diamond City. Sweetie. If you're reading this, it means I've got the chance to tell you a million apologies. We'll never make it up for that. Or for me not being there to watch you grow up. But you deserve the truth. Regardless of what he did, despite what you may think of him after reading this, he's still part of you. And I can I can only hope you're old enough when you find this to understand that it might prove some small amount of insight into yourself. Your father and I... Okay, so this is her mother writing this. Your father and I, our time together was beautiful, but short. I'm sorry to say he never knew you, nor did I know of his past or a thing he was capable of. But he should know, but you should know that when I came to you, he had a choice. That day in the university point, when we lost our home, it was your father who saved us. He found us hiding, shivering and terrified. His eyes met mine and yours. He paused briefly, pondering, gazed back at you, and realized it was his own eyes staring back at him. He nodded at each other, or we nodded at each other, and he directed us to safety. I gave him a goodbye hug, and as I did, I felt something in his back armor pocket. I didn't remember why. Maybe it was just instinct, but I grabbed it. I know, I know you're, uh, and now you're reading it. That was the last we saw of each other. I don't expect you to forgive me or to forgive him. All I'm offering is the truth. Now that I'm always, um, I'll always love you in that when uh, it matters most, he did too, mom. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, a little bit of backstory on... Can we <clears throat> talk to you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Um... Nothing that... else for now. Later then. So they have some... Well, actually, actually, let's see what they have for sale. What have you got for sale? Just put up everything you got and let's see if we can make a deal. Maybe they have something decent that we'd buy from them. Uh, inflicts ongoing acid and temporarily reduces damage resist. Interesting. Acid soaker. Maybe they have something better. Oh, she has 308s. Uh, I mean, we do have some caps that we could buy. Let's buy them. Because we're kind of low on them anyhow. All right, we'll 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 just go with those. Okay. Um, wow, I didn't expect us to get into the main storyline through the Fallon deal here. That's actually kind of crazy. Actually, I'm, I'm really enjoying it as well. Uh, we do have a hollow tape. Hold out for the hero. Where is this at? Is it in here as well? Yeah, it's upstairs. Someone else we gotta talk to. Oh, excuse me, Murphy. Here we go. Hey. Name's Holly. It's nice to meet you. You interested in having a little fun? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing uh, Harley Quinn, huh? Based off the makeup. Uh, I'm listening. I'm listening. So, let me ask you something. You ever read comic books? What's it to you? 
Old comics are my absolute favorite. I think they cater to human aspiration. Distilling our best and worst human qualities and pitting them against each other in an entertaining conflict. The best ones show us pieces of ourselves and all the different heroes. And besides, superheroes are wicked cool. Okay. Is there a reason that you're bringing this up? I grew up in an old print shop where they had a stash of undelivered comics. All sorts of great characters, but my favorite was Harley Quinn. I Go first figure. noticed Harley's comic <laughs> because she had the same first name as me. But as I read more of her stories, it felt like we had a real connection. Why do you say that? Holly was a good person who got drawn into a dark lifestyle because she tried to fix someone she loved. Most girls can relate trying to change a guy who's never going to change. There's something intense and passionate about being with someone who pulls you back in each time they hurt you. No matter how powerful and strong you are as a person, sometimes you lose control. Your obsession keeps you holding on for the crazy ride, lusting after the highs and waiting out the lows. The, the ultimate drug, right? Why are you telling me all of this? All I'm saying is that sometimes us girls can get a little, you know, overzealous. When we put our minds to it, we're way more devious, scheming, and vindictive than our male counterparts could ever be. <laughs> and Harley Quinn is the epitome of that. She's an out-and-out -out crazy bitch. There's something you just want to applaud about a character so unashamed of a utterly disastrous mentality. She knows she's crazy, but she wholeheartedly embraces it and makes it work. She's a no-fucks-given, hot-pants-wearing, middle finger to the rest of the world. Plus, she's fun. And who doesn't like a bit of fun? Yeah, so... She's, she's not getting to the point. <laughs> That's for sure. Where are you going with all this? I wanted to be just like Holly growing up, and part of that never went away. Lately, I've been trying to track down some of her gear. I found an old article in the Fallon's archives saying that before the war, Holly Quinn outfits were some of the most popular costumes for Halloween. I want to find oh, one, and I think okay. I know where to look. So give me the details. There was an old clothing store called Hot Topic down at the Monsinger Plaza. Really? What they did is they were in the business of selling overpriced merchandise to teens who wanted a gothic or punk look. And if a Holly Quinn costume was as popular as I'm reading, maybe they've got an extra outfit or two lying around. Gotcha. Okay. Sounds like an important mission. I don't care much for traveling down to that area without backup. Place is crawling with raiders. And everyone else here thinks that chasing after an old costume is a waste of time. But you... I've got a feeling you might be different. So, what do you think? Will you come with me? Oh, go with her. Yeah, why not? If that's what floats your boat. All right, then. We'll head out when you're ready. If Hot Topic doesn't have it, I know a couple other places we can look. Sweet. So we actually have another companion then? Hi. What's up? Yeah, so we do. Uh, yeah, I'm um, good for now. That's Thanks. all for now. Thanks. Later then. Sweet. Do we have any... Oh, boy. Um, you need to... Up on the table, and you need to sit on top. Hi there. See if there's any option hey with Stella. No, she's... Now's not a good time. Okay, so we'd have no dialogue options with Stella. Okay. So this is gonna be interesting. We have two companions now. <laughs> um, we'll see how that all goes. Hey, look at you. Up to no good, I assume. Hmm, um, not really. Wanna trade a few things, nothing else? Um, I don't think I have, yeah, I have no other options, so. Got any work now? That was it. Let's just Take move care along. Of yourself. We do need to eat and drink. So why don't we do that real quick? Properly fed and drink some water. Oh, back in food again. Drinks. 
properly hydrate it. Now, what is what is the other stat I got going on here? Purified water for a little bit. Okay, let's head on out. Let's head over to the church and look at the community board and see if there's anything that we can pick up there. I know I'm getting a lot of quests, uh, but we might as well grab them all while we're here and then we can kind of hop to them as we as we go along here. Seeking help finding employees. If you stumble upon a pair of caravan hands who appear lost and completely unfamiliar with the area, direct them to the playground on the end, the, the, on the north end of Concord. Well, they keep on dying down there. <laughs> Once the church repairs uh, have been completed service, hall begins nightly at 9 p.m., after which I shall make myself available for a few hours so that you may unburden your soul of anything weighing you down the confessional everything you say will be kept confidential and will not be used in any up uh up toward manner 9 p.m all right we're gonna have to come back at some other time let's take a look and see where we need to kind of start our quest here Listen to Kessadin's radio, caravan radio. Is this the one that's they're missing? Maybe we need to go in that direction. Okay, so we need to go east. Let's head east. I tell you what, this Fallon quest line is really crazy. Uh, really enjoying it so far. Not digging this whole fog deal that's going on here. Could have found a bed to sleep in. I mean, we do have a movie theater coming up here, so we could probably place a bed down if we had the materials to do so. And just, like, sleep away the fog. I'm actually half tempted. Oh, no, there's. I think there's a bed up here. I think we cleaned out all the traps, I hope. And there's a bed, okay. <laughs> uh, we can only sleep for five hours on this one. It's dirty, we might get sick. But as long as we can get past this stupid, oh, I didn't want the pillow. So we can't get a good night's sleep, but I just want to get rid, rid of the fog and come back during the day. Um, one more hour? Uh, it's, it's pretty much daytime. It's getting light out. We'll, we'll have the light on for just a short little bit. Hop on down. Okay, heading eastward still. Let's start carrying our laser rifle here. Oh. Bunch of dogs. Oh man, she's got a machine gun? Oh -hoo. This is gonna be fun. Note. 
Ryan King. Nuka World Jumpsuit. Can we read it while we're in here, though? I can expect it. Okay, I'm going to have to read it in here, I guess. Data, no inventory. Where would that be under? Oops. Miscellaneous. Notes. Note. Billy, I've got the... Now we just have to figure out a way to sell it without anyone getting wise to what you're, uh, what we're up to. I've stashed it in. I'll meet you there tonight. So P.S. Make sure you're not followed. I think John is starting to get suspicious. Ah. Huh. She's got a Tommy gun. And I got some bodyguards. Oh, what do we got going on over here? Oh, rats. Are those they're settlers. A glowing one too. Should have just run. But I saw some. Let oh jeez. Oh, jeez. Get him. Get him, done. All right, got him. Ooh. Comes paying off. Is there going to be more? <laughs> there was a lot of irradiated mole rats. Holy crap. We're going to take the irradiated blood. I think we can use them for something, I think. All right, we're going to talk to them here in a second. Let me just steal all their provisions. Okay, let's talk to them. They got a junk pile here, huh? Hey there. Hi, how are you? Can I... Hey there. Yeah? Can I help you with anything? Hello. Whoa. There's more. There is definitely more here. Huh? Let's do this. Hmm. I just see the big door. It's not a door. Right. Okay. Still in one piece. It's the big junk pile. All right, I think we got everything. I think. All right, I guess there's nothing else we can talk to them about <clears throat> thanks for the help oh 50 bottle caps nice hey yeah nope nothing definitely take the nuclear material all right uh we're done here are we getting close to our destination we are we're getting close to heather's bunker and we were here why we're in Heather's bunker? Can't quite remember. 
Oh, we've got Heather. Hey. Nice armor. Hi. I carry the highest quality alternative medicine products you can find in the Commonwealth today. Interested? Okay, so you're a doctor, so huh? So you're a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. Traditional medicine is adequate if that's all you have, but I offer something much, much better. Traditional medicine cures you today. Alternative medicine can improve your overall health and vitality forever. It's true. Trust really? me. Really? Use my healing preparations often enough, and you will see an improvement in your overall health. Got a question for you. Say you find a little kid uh, in a cave. He's all alone, hasn't eaten in days, scared to death. When you walk up to him, you can see he has a nice little collection of stolen goods. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> confiscate the property by force and leave the boy there as punishment? <laughs> Yes, that's what we're going to do. No. Um, pick the boy's pocket and take the stolen property for myself. No. The boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Lead the boy to safety and turn him over to someone in charge. I guess we'll do the second one. I lead the boy to safety. Then turn him over to someone in charge. Hmm. Sounds like something a synth might say. Sympathetic instead of irritated. But my gut tells me you're human. Where are you headed? <laughs> so that was a synth check. Um, my son was kidnapped. I'm looking for help. I'm looking for help to find him. Yeah, maybe she'll help us. My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Bet you 100 caps the Institute was behind it. Their synths are a fucking plague on the Commonwealth. I'll help you track him if you want. I'd love nothing better than to bag one of those murdering, kidnapping sons of bitches. Yeah, why not? A man took Sean. Not some shadowy group. Yeah, well, that man may have been a synth. It's nearly impossible to tell the difference between a third-gen synth and a human. I need a partner. Someone to watch my back? I'll give you a discount on my products in 200 caps if you'll join me. I need to get off the caravan trail. And I need to... do something else. And you know, you hear about all this cool stuff in the Commonwealth, but when all you do is bust your ass on the road, you never see it. Hmm, I think you need to sweeten the deal. I think you need to Let's sweeten try the it. deal. Nope, not gonna uh, happen. Uh... I like your style, though. Seems like I was right about you. So... Will you take my offer? Team up with me? I think so. Sounds good. Fan-fucking-tastic. The name's Kasdan. Heather Kasdan. Nice to meet you. Been on the road my whole life. Been training with weapons my whole life. If something is going on in the Commonwealth, I know about it. Traders love to gossip. I have a newspaper article for you to read. I don't want to talk about it, but it's true someone did get out, and it was me. Thought you might like to know why I'm trigger happy around synths. Oh, one more thing. I've got a oh, transponder for you to carry. Flick it on, and I'll be able to track you if we get separated. That's it. That's all I've got. It's time to rock and roll. The Jessica Feathers are going to turn on. Yeah. When Heather successfully uses a chemist chemistry station or hacks a terminal, you receive 15 affinity points. They can hack novice terminals. Her skills increase. Ah, I didn't read them all. Dang it. Okay, so we have we have an entourage of extremely pop. This is like the Elite Four. <laughs> uh, tour the Commonwealth with Heather and visit the places in her list she gives you. Awesome. Okay, so she does have some stuff hey, that we can trade, though, right? Up? Oh, I guess not. Join the railroad. So... She is a synth. She's got Deezer's lemonade. We'll we'll run into Deezer's uh where where and get Deezer's lemonade here soon, but she must have got in and got out of there. Interesting. Man, oh this I tell you what, this is not Fallout 4. This is completely different. 
Um, read the newspaper article gave uh, Heather gave you enti- uh, entitled Heather's anointed newspaper article. Okay, let's do that. Annotate it, sorry. Anointed? Annotate it. Heather's note. One, yeah, Piper. That one person could uh, could tell you, but she won't. All you care about is effing story. Not that I lost everything that day. There's a man in the UP in charge of all the metal synth. They call him Kellogg. I'm going to hunt him down, hunt that bastard and make him pay for what he did. There must have been some been 50 cents there that day. I think that uh think that sounds like a good number to start with. Kill 50. So how I feel after that right now, I want to kill them all, every single one of them. Tragedy at University Point by Piper Wright. We can uh, we can no longer deny the rumors that University Point has suffered a terrible tragedy. Today, I received confirmation that an army of synths descended on the settle settlement, killing everyone there. Nearby raiders witnessed the event by being high on chems at the time, or but being high on chems at the time, were unable to provide the one last detail this reporter so desperately craves. Why, University Point? We may yet to find the answer that que- or to that question. My sources tell me that one person made it out alive. That person can tell us uh, what we all need to hear. Why did the Institute target University Point? What did the Institute gain by wiping out the entire population? Could Diamond City be next? Rest assured, dear readers, I will do everything in my power to find the one survivor that walked out of University Point alive. Interesting. So there's all the item or the locations that she wants to go and kind of mark them on my map of of possible locations. Boy, okay, so so technically she is a synth and she escaped the institute. Okay, um, boy, okay, there's so much, (laughs) there's so much going on. How far down? That's way down there. Uh, we could start heading down south here and look for the Harley Quinn. Uh, at some point in time, we probably will have to, uh, forego some of these followers. Tick, tick, tickety. It means we need to keep moving. Oh, she's got, like, unique dialogue, too, isn't she? Oh, Heather's gonna be a hoot. I can already tell she's gonna be... She's probably gonna stick around for quite some time. And just by the dialogue... Is that a raider? No, it's a settler. Uh, just the way the interaction we have with her, I think she's actually a normal follower. Oh, here. This is the place. Uh, we're not gonna go here yet. But this... a weird place. You might want to skip it. Bunker Hill has better trading. I like that she has dialogue about Covenant. Uh, yeah, this is a very interesting location. We'll come back to it at some other time. We just have so many quests that we need to kind of keep going with. I think we can take this bridge across. Or no, that's not... Was that a bridge or is that the dam? No, I think it's a bridge. This goes up. We've already been up there at some at one point in time. Where's that bridge? Over this way more. Oh. 
storage? <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Uh, looking for a new place to settle? You looking for a new place to settle? Could be. Why, do you know somewhere good? Yeah, actually, let's go send him to the Red Rocket. Thanks. See you there in a day or two. Perfect. Awesome. Got a new settler? Like that? What do you have here? Bathroom. A nice little setup here. A little stool to sit down on. From a lack of water. Alright, we'll get water here soon. Oh, there is mines. I'm gonna miss Wolfgang. I haven't trusted most of the traders for a long time now. Whoa! Okay. Wolfgang. That was uh, quite an explosion. Her memorial bridge. Whoa. What, what's going on over here? Oh. There is a massive fight going on. in the world is going on over there? Oh, I know what that is. We are not going over there. We are going to skirt the crap out of that. We are not doing that at all. <laughs> you know what? I think we triggered it. What the... Easy with the... Jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. Girls. Must have been nothing. Why can't I see the bomb in his hand? There we go. Ooh, that could have been worse. Oops, I didn't mean that. Get him! And that's that. Oh, jeez! All the little settlements from around the Commonwealth and move everybody into. Uh, why does she want to kill me so bad? The one I don't think it did. Place, like conquered. I don't think it did damage to me, did it? I mean, it took my limbs down, but it didn't hurt me. Oh, it did. It did. I just don't know why it didn't... Like, it took a while for it to appear. I, I we're, Okay, we're gonna have to get... Maybe rid of Eden. She's like... She's on the verge of trying to kill us. Super Mutant's orders. Night Vision... Okay, we're going to take that. I don't know if we can take that off and put it on something else. Let's see if we can find... Okay, we found him. Okay, uh, things are going to start getting a little dangerous in here. As such, we have raiders. Jeez. Uh, 
Oh my god. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. She shoots, she scores. Oh, that was a waste. Okay. Super mutants that way. Raiders this way. Which way do we go? <laughs> Some shotgun. He was a synth. Darn dirty synth. There's a detective in Diamond City we have to go see. If anyone can help me find this guy I'm tracking, it'll be him. Oh, we're looking for the same person. Okay. Nice. What is this bad TFL? Okay, let's look at our map real quick. All right, we we need to start heading southwest-ish. We need to go that direction. Easy now. Uh, let's eat something to heal ourselves. That... That should be enough for now. Uh, no, no one's here. Oh, boy. Missed. Ouch. Try that again. <sighs> oh, jeez. Girls, why didn't you help me out here? We'll take two stems. Oh, God. I'm running. Oh god. <laughs> Jeez, this is not good. Bye girls. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Harley's still alive. Gotta go help help Heather. The game isn't over yet, Muty. Humans win again. Oh, there's a skirmisher legendary. Wait, you scared? Ooh. You missed, stupid. You missed, stupid? <laughs> I love her comments. Fifty fifty chance. Okay, where is the other? Oh, there we go. It's what we do. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them.
Okay, we need to go up there. I'm sorry. It's just that's just how it's going to go. Oh, really? Uh, let's go ahead and drink. It'll heal us up a little bit, too. Uh, we're running low. Let's grab a Nuka-Cola. Do you? I got a treat for you as well. Just saw him go this way. I don't want to get trapped. Okay, how do we get up there? There's another legendary as well. Hello, floating money. I don't know what this is. Nothing. I don't know the CVC. I, I just know that they are You'll things that we can build. Sooner or later. What's that? Come on. I see you way up there. Uh, what was that? All right, let's... No more days. Got to die. The Commonwealth is ours. All right, let's see if we can get up there. Hello? Maybe, do I have to go in to go up? Maybe I... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Follow the wires. Where do they go? Oh, it goes to the cart. Ah, oh, shoot. I was kind of hoping that I could turn the turrets against these guys, but I guess not. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, gals. Oh, you do? You hear something? No way. A noise. All right, I guess we're gonna go back up, 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 up. Human. Hello, hello, hello. No, 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 no. Oh God. Oh. You're all gonna yeah. die. God damn it. Eden, get him. Get him. <laughs> She's going ham on him. <laughs> oh man. Eden's great. She just don't care. She just runs right in their face. Synth left arm. Charisma and intelligence. Is a hunting rifle as well. All right, there's a, there's more up here. You had your time, you had. I think it's much further up. Okay, so here's the other one: Chinese sword, forty percent less action point cost. Ooh, that's gonna be nice if we can use that on something else. Mining helmet. Actually, is this a weapons? It is a weapons. Okay, I'm gonna try something real quick. 
If we if we go in here, go to transfer or no, not transfer. Can we craft? Oh, we're in combat. Um, all right, we're gonna have to come back to that when we're not in combat. On it. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh, there goes another Molotov. We ain't done playing yet. Still upstairs? Holy. There we go. We're done. We're done. We got it all. Combat sniper rifle calibrated. Um, oh, man. I really want to use one. I really want to take it um, and beef it up, but I'm probably just going to scrap it. Okay, uh, let's see if there's any other things that we can pick up. But I do want to see if I can't take that item off. Where was that? It's down in here. There we go. So I think if we go into crafting here, and we go to this, we modify it, we go to legendary, we go to no legendary. Okay, so can we put it on something else? It might have to be another, uh, like, like a baseball bat, but I'm kind of curious if I can't apply Folks it to something else. Down south somewhere. Like in a Starbucks, you know? I'd love to see Bats in hand 40, you can. So we can transfer it to anything. That's wicked. That is super, super, super wicked. This is 40% less AP points. Oh, another one? Actually, we should... Roll off, roll off, roll off, roll off. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, we, we need to go grab that other one. I need to grab every single legendary item we possibly can, because we can make an insane build. There's this guy named Pikmin running around killing raiders. Sounds like just another day in the Commonwealth, right? But it's not. It's really creepy. After he kills them, he leaves a calling card so everyone knows it was him. Hope he doesn't come after traitors next. All right, we... Did he fall down finally? He did. He did. Thank goodness. Baton. Increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. Hmm. I can see that. For sure. All right, guys. Uh, let's check in here quick. Is this construction site warehouse? No, we're not going to go inside there. I thought it was just an outbuilding. Guys, I'm going to have to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that no, bell notification if you're new. First thing, noodles. We can take care of business after that. Thank you, Heather. Um... Also, don't uh, forget to take out, check out my Patreon if you want to help support this channel. Thank you to all those are uh, supporting this channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, you guys are what is helping improve the content of the channel. Uh, so I hope uh, that maybe some others, if you have the ability to, would go check that out. Just go check it out. You don't have to. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Um, but if you if you would like to help support the channel and continue the growth. Um, that is one way you could do it. Uh, another way would be to share this episode or the, the playlist. I have that information down in the description below, uh, as well as an Amazon affiliate link. If you are uh, want to shop on Amazon and you're new here, uh, go use that Amazon affiliate link. It helps support a small YouTuber like me, and I would really, really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much again. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
A uh, lot of cool information. I tell you what, this is going to be a completely different gameplay than you have ever seen before with Fallout 4. Um, and I am hyped. I am really, really hyped. And this is going to be really interesting. I just saw someone over there. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, next episode. Oh, God. Oh, no. I just froze. It just froze the game. Oh, man. I think I saved just recently. So not a big deal. Guys, thank you again. You guys have an amazing day. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>